My name's Phil Don, uh, Engineer and Instructor at JPMA. Um, uh, there's been a request for a short video on uh, paralleling generators. So here goes. Um, once your engine has run up um, and all the temperatures and pressures have settled down, uh, you want to switch on your um, synchroscope, uh, check your uh, buzz bar or your incoming machine uh, voltage and frequency are stable. Um, your synchroscope is a device which is um, comparing the phase rotation and the speed of the incoming machine with respect to the, uh, the buzz bar. The phases are in line when the synchroscope, uh, if it, we'll just talk about an analog one now, but there's LEDs or um, digital uh, synchroscopes, but at the 12 o'clock position, the incoming machine um, phase are perfectly in line with the bus bar. You want to close the circuit breaker at the uh, 5 to 12 position to allow for your reactions and the um, time it takes for the circuit breaker to close. The synchroscope wants to be going round slightly faster in the clockwise direction. If it's going round in the anti-clockwise direction, it's going, the engine is going too slow and you would uh, Rectify this by increasing the fuel via your governor control knobs, buttons, lever, whatever you have on your switchboard. Um, increase the fuel until the uh, frequency is um, and the speed of the engine is slightly higher. And the synchroscope is going around slowly in the clockwise direction. At the 5 to 12 position, um, you close your circuit breaker. Um, with it, that engine going slightly faster, it will grab a little bit of positive load. This is kilowatt load sharing we're talking about now. Um, it will grab a little bit of positive load, uh, five, 10 kilowatts, depending on the size of your, of your generator. Um, and then you want to um, load share. To load share, you increase the fuel to the generator you want load and you decrease the fuel to the engine via your governor control knobs or levers or buttons. Um, you decrease by an equal amount the fuel to the generator that was already on, on the board. This will um, put load, kilowatt load, onto the generator, the incoming machine, and reduce kilowatt load on the generator that you're load sharing with, maintaining your buzz bar frequency at the desired level, whether it's 50 or 60 hertz. If you don't um, put fuel and remove fuel from the two engines, the uh, frequency will go up. The load will go up, but the frequency will go up as well. So it's important that you decrease the uh, the fuel to the engine that you want to paddle or you want to load share with um, accordingly. And that's it really. Balance the load out. Um, check your engine. Um, make sure that all of the temperature pressures and fluid levels are 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 good. And then uh, switch off your synchroscope so it's not continuously rated. Um, and that's it. Simple. So if you if you're running a switchboard that is fully automated or semi-automatic, I'd encourage you to switch off the automation, have a play. It's perfectly safe to have a play. It's not perfectly safe just to not know how to do it manually. Um, so have a little play, put one on and off the board a few times, and then you'll be in good order for the future when your automation fails. Okay, thanks very much and best of luck and uh, have a good day. Bye.